Welcome to Zinfin's InFactor application, a use case of invoice discounting. To onboard, click on Sign Up. There are three types of users on the InFactor platform, supplier, buyer, and financier. You can select any one. The supplier uploads the invoice. The buyers verify the invoices, and financiers provide finance to suppliers against the uploaded invoice. Add the credentials and sign up. Since the supplier is the starting point, let's log in as a supplier. On successful login, the supplier is directed to the dashboard. The dashboard shows all the invoice entries. To create a new invoice, click on the Create Request button. Let's fill the form. Buyer's details. Select from the list of registered buyers. Add the contact name and contact details. Add the purchase order title and select a payable date. Add the purchase order details. Suppliers can also upload the files and images related to the purchase order. This will help buyers to verify the invoice. Fill in the invoice details. Also add in the GRN details. If the supplier wants to modify the details later, click Save Now or one can directly submit now. The invoice is now submitted to the platform and awaits an approval from the buyer. This invoice is added on the blockchain and is visible to relevant parties. The blockchain log is available at the bottom of the invoice details page. All the further activities will be logged on the blockchain and will be visible on the invoice page. Now let's log in as a buyer. The invoice from the supplier appears here. Click on the invoice to get the details. The buyers can verify the entries and choose to approve or reject the invoice, and also add a remark. The status of the invoice changes to approved. Once the invoice is approved, the supplier can request the invoice for factoring by clicking on the Factor Now button. This factoring request is sent across all the financiers available on the platform. Now let's log in as a financier. The factoring request will appear on the dashboard. The financier can reject the factoring request or send a factoring proposal. Let's proceed with the proposal. The financier can set the interest rate per month and the percentage amount to be paid at the time of the first payment. The financier can also add the terms and conditions. He can also upload the relevant files. On submitting, the proposal is then sent to the supplier. The supplier can review the proposal by looking at the blockchain entries. The supplier can choose to accept or reject the proposal and also add a remark. Now the supplier has selected the financier for factoring. The financier will pay a part of the invoice amount to the supplier as per the proposal. The financier will then await the clearing of the invoice amount from the buyer. Once the invoice is paid by the buyer, the financier will pay the balance amount to the supplier. The financier must have the required balance in his wallet. The financier pays the first payment to the supplier by clicking on the Pay to Supplier button, and the amount is deducted from the wallet. The transaction is added on the blockchain. The first payment is now deposited into the supplier's wallet. The buyer should also have the required balance in his wallet. The buyer can then make the payment to the financier on or before the payable date by clicking on the Pay Now button. On payment, the transaction is added on the blockchain and the amount is reduced from the buyer's wallet. The invoice amount is now deposited into the financier's wallet. The financier can check the status of the payment either by looking at the blockchain log or by looking into the invoice details. Now the financier can pay the remaining balance to the supplier. On payment, the remaining amount is deposited into the supplier's wallet and the factoring is completed. On completion, the financier and supplier can rate each other and add a remark as well.